everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute gatefold shutter card. So this is how it looks on the front. So you've got this really lovely belly band and this cute little scene that I coloured and put together. Take the belly band off and then you open it up and you have this. And I love the sound. It's got such a, it's quite a satisfying sound. I love how this has come together. Now I saw a tutorial by Sushri Patil. She done one some years ago now. Now she doesn't talk in her videos and I think it's in centimetres. Now I wanted a 5 by 7 card so this is all my own measurements and the way I've put it together is all myself. I do think I've found a slightly more simplified way to put it together. So again anybody that's already made this card let me know what you think of the tutorial and um, yeah I hope in some ways it's just that little bit easier because yeah there's a few little steps to it but it's not hard to do so as long as you stick with what I've done and as close to the measurements as I've got in terms of this shutter section yeah it should all come together really well but it stands up like this so it's got a great profile and on the back is where you can write your message and just think it's just yeah I just can't wait to give this to somebody although I'd like to have it given to me but <laughs> it was a joy to make so yeah let me show you okay I'll quickly just show you the stamp sets I've used so this is the one here for the love of stamps and it's a grand adventure so I brought this on their sale um, on the website so it was a while ago but I'm sure I can still find links for it for you but it's just an adorable little set so that's the one I used for the card that I showed you today's card I'm using this one which is a slice of happiness loved colouring all these in really really nice and they've got lovely little sentiments there so I've already stamped make a wish and then I'm going to have either wishing you a big slice of happiness or hope your day is filled with extra icing thought they were lovely then the big happy birthday which I've already done here for this card is from my just go to these are just some of the best and I know so many of you now have gone and got this one it's just it's brilliant and it's called big birthday words and that's the woodware collection and then for this one inside this happy birthday is again from this one which is the sentiments no occasions sorry this one is by Dovecraft occasions okay so that's all of the stamps then I've got my die so to make the belly band so I've already done the topper for this one look how cool that is again these are just a joy to color these are the largest one I used was four inch diameter roughly and then whatever your next one down would be on your nest so mine's three and a half so that's what I used for those two and the one there is just the background that I blended again I'll, um, I'll talk you through that so that's the topper go through all the mats and layers in a moment so these are all the other bits that I have gone and coloured and fussy cut and they've just turned out like I said really really nice and really pleased with those Okay, so then for the main card itself, it's a piece of 10 by seven. And along the 10 inch side, you wanna score it two and a half and seven and a half. Okay, fold and burnish, and this will give you your gatefold card. Okay, so this on its own is just a nice fold. Okay, and you'll see there, that opens. So that's that piece. Then this is our center panel inside, and this is eight by three and a half. And along the eight inch side, you wanna score a half an inch and seven and a half and again you want to fold and burnish those score lines okay then these are the pieces that are going to create our shutter so this is three and a half by three and three quarters and you want two pieces and it's along the three and three quarter side that you want to score at half an inch okay on both pieces just at half an inch and again fold and burnish okay and then for all our mats and layers so you're going to need four pieces and these are for the front folds and then inside of those folds and these are two and a quarter by six and three quarters and all I've done is I've used the distressed oxide I've used barn door and I've used mustard seed and I just blended them with my makeup brush so I've got a really nice ombre there and for that one I've done the same thing and that was using mermaid lagoon and mowed lawn okay so they're the colors and again I'll list all that in my blog but you want four of those you may want different patterns you may not be using you know like a blended background like I've done but once you see where I put them all then you'll know what ones you will want then this is to mat the inside main section of the card and this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and then this is to mat this center panel piece here all right and that's three and a quarter by six and three quarters then you want a belly band. Now I just this was just 
scrap from all of this blended paper. So this was a piece of A4 length, so it's 11 and 3 quarters. But you can have 11, will be fine. It doesn't need to meet, it's just it needs to be able to just wrap at least three quarters of the way around. And my width of this is just over one and a half. But again, you know, that's, that can really change. And then for the back mat and layer, you want this yellow piece here is five and three quarters, and it's by six and three quarters. And then the white mat on top is four and a half by six and a half. And I've stamped and got that all ready. Okay, so that's everything you need. Okay, so first of all, nice and easy, you want to stick down all your mats and layers. So we're gonna stick these two here. Then open it up, these two are going to go in here, and then this big one is going to go here. And also that one can go on the back. I'm going to do that at the very end just because I've got that white and I'm, you know, obviously actually making it. I don't want to get any marks on it, so I will stick that last. But yeah, I'm just going to get all these bits stuck down. Okay, so I've stuck all that down. I really like how that's come together. So now we need to work on this piece. So this is where you're going to have your circle or square, what kind of, you know, whatever shape it is that you want to have. Now I've got two of these dies here because one, the larger one will be to create my frame on this piece here. So this one to create that frame. The smaller circle here, and this is something I would say you you kind of want to get something as close to what I'm using because I can't guarantee that the shutters will work if your circle is bigger, for example. If it's smaller, it should be okay, but you can see there, obviously it comes out and it kind of gives you this curtain effect on the four, well, there's no sides on a circle, but you know what I mean, on these four bits here. So, yeah, it's, um, well, once you see what I'm doing, then you'll, yeah, you'll be able to, but hopefully you've got something that is as close to two and a half inches. Okay, in diameter. So, first of all, you want to decide where you want it. Now, this one I've done quite near the top. Now, that's fine, but I would say what I will probably do when I do this scene again is I would come down a little bit further. The reason I went so high is because I had the trees in this one, but it will put a little bit of tension on here. I've just got away with it on that one, but personally, I wouldn't go as high. Now, because I'm going to be using these kind of cakes, I'm actually going to come down a bit further and I'm going to have some of these kind of roses up the top there. So it's going to kind of fill that space, all right? So yeah, I am going to come down a bit lower with this one. Okay, so you want to cut this piece first, not that white one. So I'm going to sit that over the top. It should sit nicely, make sure I've got my colours the right way up. And then I'm going to have it about there. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher, but not right to the top. But just make sure you get it nice and centred. So I'm going to run that one, oops, that one through first. Okay, and then because um, this cardstock's thick, this is 300 GSM card. I, you can run both through if it's thinner cardstock, but I've done them separate for this reason because it's just too thick. So with this one, sit it over the top. Make sure you've got an equal border, and then if you just draw a circle around and then you can die cut it. I mean if you're slightly out this is when the frame when I put that on will come in handy so because obviously it's hard to see where the actual cut is on these but that's going to be about right like I said by the time I get this frame put on that can hide if you're slightly off and stuff so it's another little handy tip. I'm just going to put a fresh piece on there because that's taken off some of the um, ink from the piece there. Okay, just run that one through. Okay, and then bring this one in. And yeah, that's pretty spot on. I'm happy with that. I need to come down a little bit. So yeah, can you see now I've got that little bit of kind of white, but once I have my frame, you won't notice that anyway. So now I'm gonna stick, where do I put my glue? Stick this one down. So while that's drying, I've got the same one that I've just cut them both with, and then I've got the next size up within that nest. And I've just got some scrap here. And I'm just going to basically sit that one inside so you've got a nice little thin border. Okay, and now I can stick that over the top, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of, I'm going to use a different glue. 
Okay, so next you want a piece of cardstock. I didn't mention this at the beginning, but you need something that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. You don't want it to come out of the other sides here. This is a bit of scrap that I stamped my thing on before. But you can see there it doesn't come over the edges. You want to sit that on there. Ooh, grab your pencil very lightly, just draw a circle. Okay, and that's where I'm now going to stamp my little kind of message when the shutter's open. And for this one, I think I'm going to have hope your day is filled with extra icing. Okay, so now that will sit perfectly over there. So next you want to get that stuck down. So what I'm going to do is add some... You can use double-sided tape if you want, because that might be a bit easier for some but I'm just going to add some of this glue and then you just want to hold it over here I'm just kind of just balancing it there as long as it's concealed behind that piece and then you want to line up your score line with the top so this score line with the top here and make sure you get it in the middle and then I can kind of just move it around a little bit but this hasn't stuck it's just to line that up there but I think that's pretty, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I can just make sure that's secure. So yeah, if you'd rather use some double-sided tape, something that you might feel, you, yeah, is a bit easier, then that's okay. So then you can see now where that's all going to sit, and that's what's going to be revealed. So now we need to work on our shutters. Okay, so you've got your folded side here, and then you've got the top here. It's along this bit that we're going to work on. So this is three and a half. So you want to mark at one and three quarters, which is halfway, okay? Then you want to come in one and a half inches, okay? And just pop a little dot there. You need to do this on one, so I'm going to trace around it on that one. So then just very neatly, you want to cut all the way down from point, down from each point to that pencil mark like so okay and then you can just sit that one over the top you can draw a pencil mark again if you want I'm just going to cut straight onto it but do make sure that you get your score lines bang on and then just cut okay so now we'll have these pieces here next we want to pop some tape on them so I'm going to add some double sided tape onto both of the tabs so where we've scored those little tabs this is thin tape, I need to order some more of the thicker stuff, so I'm just doubling it up. Okay, next what you want to do is you want to have one of the, this piece here for example is going to go under this one and this one's going to go over the top, so they lock in, okay, like so. And once you feel it, you want it to go as close to the centre as possible, but you need this to be lined up as well. I've got a little bit of a pencil mark on mine, just there, I can see it. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you need it to sit like that. And that's how I find you get the best closure. Because look, you can see now there's nothing there. Then, right, we want to stick this bit down first actually. So I'm going to use my red tape again. If you want to use, obviously, any other glues, that's fine. But you just want to run some tape along the top and the bottom. Work with the top, fold that in, and obviously you've got your sentiment there, or your little message to work with as well. So you want to make sure you get that in the in the centre, and just line up the top there, making sure you've got equal border. So there's a few things you do need to keep your eye on, but if you've done it the, the same way as me, it should all line up nicely. Okay, so that's that one, and then that one you just need to fold under, and that should just fall nicely into place. And I'm just gonna. We'll burnish all of that again okay and then with this piece here you're going to slide it right under okay and you can move it all around you want to try and get so if you pull them apart you can see there where it starts to open where you've got that join you want to make sure you get that as centered as possible in that circle okay and you should find that the score lines of these pieces here should line up with the white centerpiece, okay? 
that's what I've tried to kind of work on. So, you know, get that in the centre of this circle, but then just line the sides up with this here, this white piece. Once you're happy, I'm going to take off the backing again. If you're not using double sided tape like myself, then add your glue. I'm just going to take, I'm going to hold my finger in the middle there because then I know that these won't move. Okay, so before you commit, just double check that you're happy. If you look on mine, you can see where I've got this pinky kind of bit here. I've got that's all nice and straight and even. Okay, and then you're going to fold over one like so. Fold the other one over and then carefully when you pull them out you will get your shutter. How cool is that? And again when it stands up that is how it will look. But there you go and I love the sound. Really feels like it's working but I like how it goes right into that tiny little dot and then just disappears. It folds nice and flat. So now it's all down to decoration. So I have got this here, which is going to go in the middle, I'm going to have a couple of these up here, I think. Um, I've got my fork, so I'm just going to, again, put this on high speed now. And, um, yeah, try and do something like that, I think. Okay, so I've decorated everything, but I stupidly went and put a candle on each of them. And as soon as I've done it, I thought that's not going to work because it's going to catch. And it did. And you can see now I've got this horrible mark there. So I'm now going to have to cover that whole section and under with some decorative paper because whatever you put just up to there will catch when it closes. So don't do that. Lesson learned from me. <laughs> I've made the mistake so you don't have to. But it's I can easily, you know, kind of cover that up so I'm not too worried. But... Doesn't that look cool? I absolutely love this. So then you just need to finish it off with your belly band and stick that back piece on. So this one here, I'm just going to use my grid here. And it's about getting it straight. It doesn't matter how, you know, if it's not in the middle at this point because you just move it yourself. But I never score my belly bands. I just wrap them and then you want to keep it loose, don't let it kind of go really tight, you can see it kind of bounces. Now don't worry if yours is shorter and it doesn't join, so even if it just comes to here and here, because once you stick that on, that will join it all together. Okay, so I'm going to just roughly add some glue on here. And I'm also going to add glue all over here. And just making sure it's in the middle. I just love this so much. I love all the hunky dory for the lover stamps. They always do beautiful stamp sets. So I'm just going to hold that there for a minute so that all sets. Okay, so I just burnished the folds there on the side of the belly band and just kind of open it up. Make sure that's stuck. And then you just need to pop that on. Once you've used them, you know, used put it on a few times, it will get used to it. But there. Isn't that cute? Absolutely love it. And again, you can see this one. How adorable are those cards? I love them. This is, these are my favourite kind of cards. You know, I say it enough. I love colouring and I love creating little scenes. So again, let's take that one off. And that is what you have. Really, really fun. Love it. Just got to get rid of that mark. Although it is going away a little bit. I might be able to, I don't know, do some ink blending or something. We will see. But um, yeah, I'll update the photos once I've got around to that. So that's that one. And then again, this one here. Oh, love it. I think this is my favourite, just because I love the trees, I love the height there, but I do love the cakes. But I think I'm going to stamp and colour more bits and maybe have some bits coming down here. I might do some different green leaves and just have some green up here or something, So, because there's obviously a lot of blank space. But on this one, I don't think it really needs it, because I quite like that these are just a bit higher. But, uh, so there you go guys, two really fun gatefold shutter cards and I just adore them. So I hope you've liked this tutorial, I hope it's maybe simplified a few things for you all. If it has, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!